Buongiorno, I'm Matthias. Welcome to What's New in DevTools for Chrome 142 to 144. Isn't it great? Things just work. Plug and play. It's such a smooth and seamless experience. Just like integrating the new DevTools MCP server with your favorite AI agent. Works plug and play. Or as seamless as sharing performance traces with additional debugging data. And like pressing tab in the console to get your line auto-completed by Gemini. All this and more in the last What's New in DevTools episode for 2025. Let's dive in. OK, can someone please? The Model Context Protocol is a new protocol which allows your AI to use the same tools as you do through a specialized API. DevTools now supports this protocol with our dedicated DevTools MCP server. By settling on a widely adopted protocol, this brings the power of DevTools to every agent that supports MCP independently of the underlying model. So this works with Gemini CLI and Gemini, with Cursor and Claude, or VS Code and Copilot, and many more. After initial setup, your agent can then use a real local Chrome browser, navigate pages, fill in forms, take screenshots, and Use DevTools to inspect HTML and CSS, console logs, network requests, and more. Learn how to install the Chrome DevTools MCP server with instructions for over 15 clients and get started through this link. Starting with Chrome 142, you can now chat about the full performance trace without selecting any prior context. Go to the Performance panel, record a trace, and just chat away with AI assistance. Seamlessly select more specific context throughout your chat by selecting a performance insight or an activity from the trace. It's great chatting about performance with Gemini, but sometimes you just want another human to take a look. That's why we also improve trace sharing. With Chrome 143 and later, when exporting a trace in the performance panel, you can now choose to include a copy of all HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files, and source maps allowing a colleague or friend to see original function names and source files when they import the same trace. Including this additional data is optional. Take a look at our updated docs to learn when it's useful to share what. Related to performance debugging, but not limited to it, you can now throttle individual network requests instead of the whole network. Let's look into it. The former Network Request Blocking panel has been renamed to Request Conditions. Because despite fully blocking requests based on patterns, you can now also decide to only throttle them so they still eventually succeed. This helps you to inspect the effects of potentially slow loading resources like images, fonts, styles, and scripts. Everybody is talking about Vibe coding, but have you heard about Vibe consoling yet? Could be a thing with the new Gemini code suggestions in the console and sources panels. After enabling code suggestions in the AI innovation settings, you can now get type ahead suggestions from Gemini. Just start typing in the panels, wait for a suggestion, and then press tab to accept it. Note, this is a code suggestion feature, not code generation. So you still need to type some of your own to give it enough context to suggest reasonable completions. Now for the bonus tip. Wouldn't it be great to just align things with the click of a button from bottom aligned to the side and back again? Now, you can finally do the same with the DevTools drawer. This allows you to show just the information you need the way you want it, like the elements panel next to the sources panel, the performance panel next to the network panel, the animations panel next to the rendering panel. The possibilities are sheer endless. And that was it for What's New in DevTools 142 to 144 and 2025. Let us know your biggest wish for DevTools in 2026 in the comments below. Happy building and see you next time.